case a lot of times. So this is the, the vacuum interlock signal coming out of the gauge controller. So mm -hmm. the vacuum interlock is through the convectron gauge with a, a measurement from the convectron. Uh, so it's just the, the signal to set the or satisfy or unsatisfy yep. the joint. That ties into this whole circuit down here. So mm -hmm. the vacuum and the water interlocks are wired in series. So either one is interrupted, then the interlock is interrupted. So that's what that is. <coughs> so back with the heater controller. This is uh, the output power to the lamps of the heater. It's two uh, quartz uh, halogen lamps. This is uh, the thermocouple coming in. This is just a jumper used for the configuration of this particular system. On some systems, this is used as the interlock, but on this system, we just cut the power through, through this vacuum interlock. That's that. We have the turbo controllers. It's just our power and communication uh, going off to the turbos. This is the rotation controller, where this is the the power for the Z motor and the rotation motor just mm -hmm. going off to the main chamber here mm -hmm. with our mains power coming in. We have a, a fuse for each mode. There's a fuse for the Z and a fuse for mm -hmm. rotation. Yeah. And then, then the D DC power supply with our four channel output. We're just using channels one and two right now. Mm -hmm. 